Hi, I'm Jerry O'Keefe, the Administrative Assistant to the Secretary of the Army, and 28 July marks my one-year anniversary in the job. I'm both honored and privileged to hold this position and the tremendous opportunity that comes with it to lead this amazing organization and through it to support the Army. On this anniversary and through this video, I want to take the opportunity to thank you, the OAA workforce, for the tremendous support you've provided to me, other OAA leaders, and most importantly, our many customers in the Army and in many cases across the DOD enterprise over this last year. OEA is a large and diverse organization. We execute a diverse array of over 80 distinct missions and functions in support of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Joint Staff, and DOD customers in the National Capital Region and in fact all over the world. I'm happy to report that despite the complexities of the mission, that we, you, execute these missions to a high standard, providing superb support to the most senior customers here in the corporate headquarters for the Army and DOD. Our OAA vision is an innovative, results-oriented organization recognized for service and workforce excellence. While this is a broad vision, it is appropriate given the scores of missions that we must accomplish in OAA which all have in common the requirement to produce results for our customers. So what are some of OAA's missions? We truly don't have time to list them all, but I'd like to highlight a few. Management of fiscal resources of over $9 billion. Managing civilian human resources for Headquarters DA. Managing all Headquarters DA real estate in the National Capital Region. Providing the IT backbone and all telecommunications for the Pentagon and for DOD activities in lease space in the NCR to include the Mark Center. An Army-wide mission to manage conferences. Running a variety of installation activities for the Pentagon to include the motor pool, parking management, religious support activities, the Army Executive Dining Facility, the Pentagon Auditorium, and the Pentagon Athletic Center. Other missions include conducting the executive agent mission for DOD for visas and passports, army-wide missions in managing all publications, records, and forms, writing the official histories of the United States Army, supporting a national network of almost 100 civilian aides to the Secretary of the Army, and finally, of course, providing world-class administrative support to the Secretary of the Army. While everything I just covered is massive, it is frankly just a subset of what OAA does. You provide dependable and professional support day in and day out across a myriad of activities and I personally appreciate the dedication and commitment you've demonstrated over the past year. And I'd like to take a moment to highlight just a few more of the major OAA accomplishments this last year. For example, as we remember all too well, last year's furlough and government shutdown were extremely difficult events. They also generated a huge management and administrative responsibility for OAA. Via detailed planning, Resources and Programs Agency not only ensured the timely delivery and return of literally tens of thousands of furlough notices, they also effectively executed Headquarter DA's $9 billion budget, a challenge even in a normal year. Also over the past year, OEA's Center of Military History has led a particularly important project to collect and create a repository for all the records of the Army's 13 years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan. These are records of decisions and events that are critical to telling the Army's story and providing important background to veterans' claims for the care and services they are entitled to. But of course the records are also spread across the entire Army. Through an intensive Army-wide effort, we've collected over 100 million files of various types and have begun the arduous task of assessing and indexing them for future use. What's at stake in this effort is nothing short of ensuring the history of a decade plus of war is preserved for future generations. That story won't be told accurately without OAA. History making events also happen in the National Capital Region and Army Headquarters Services is there to capture them and share them. These events are also often coordinated by OAA. In the last year, some examples include the Korean War 60th Anniversary Commemoration, the commemoration of the 150th Anniversary of Arlington National Cemetery, and the Valor 24 Medal of Honor Ceremony, among others. 
These are large and complex, high visibility productions that require OEA expertise and talent to accomplish. Another one I'd like to mention is the work that OEA's Information Technology Agency does to maintain and operate the network. Their service is so reliable that we often take it for granted. But a complex and vast infrastructure underpins all the seamless IT we all use, and it is because of ITA's hard work and world-class talent that the headquarters can efficiently operate on what is a complicated network and one that is a target for our adversaries. There simply isn't enough time here to list all of the different things you do, but you should know that through the chain of command and my visits to the various OAA work sites that I do see all the great things you are doing. I'm deeply honored to be part of OAA, and I'm grateful for your commitment and dedication. As we look forward, there are, of course, more challenges. Clearly, we will continue to see resource reductions as the Army and its headquarters get smaller. This will require careful resource management by OAA to ensure that the Headquarters DA continues to accomplish its mission while protecting its valued employees. In terms of how the reductions will directly impact OAA, I'd assess that it will be difficult but manageable. You've seen some correspondence from me on this already, and we'll keep an open dialogue with you going forward. Again, it's been a great first year for me as the administrative assistant, and I want to thank you personally and convey the appreciation of the secretary and the rest of the headquarters for your tremendous professionalism and commitment. You are part of an organization that provides administrative and technical support to one of the nation's most important institutions. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Know that what you do really matters, and also that your great work is appreciated. Thank you.